Good first alert meteorologist Kevin Phelps in the studio. We now have a severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued for Johnson and Washington counties as a strong line of thunderstorms is starting to push into the very western edge of the TV6 viewing area. It is moving to the north and to the east at 55 miles per hour. So while it hasn't impacted the viewing area just yet, it will be doing so within the next half hour. So if you live in Mount Pleasant, within the next 20 minutes, you can expect winds of near 70 miles per hour and penny-sized hail. And just to track it out even further, Muscatine, this line about an hour away from your neck of the woods, and it has been capable of producing winds up to 60 and even 70 miles per hour. There's frequent lightning with this storm system as well, and check out that large, severe thunderstorm warning that lasts until 4.30 p.m. We'll watch this line of storms eventually progress into the QC Metro later this evening, and this will turn into a more of a heavy rain event, but a severe thunderstorm watch is also in effect for areas along and south of Interstate 80 until 9 p.m. tonight. Of course, we'll keep tabs on that, but at the time being, we have the main threat in Washington. Washington and Jefferson and Johnson counties until 4.30 p.m. for a severe thunderstorm warning capable of producing winds up to 70 miles per hour. That would include eventually Iowa City, the town of Washington and Crawfordsville. And then as it approaches the Mississippi River, that would put areas near Burlington and Muscatine under the gun within the next hour or so. Of course, we'll keep our eye on it and also we'll make sure we'll not try to cut in over your hockey game. So for now, we'll send you back to the Blues and Blackhawks. And, um... Severe weather today, and that's it. And, um, and I think it's gonna be storming tomorrow, and that's it.